Hey Alex, how are you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Um, yeah, I'm kind of working on JavaScript lately, and I've heard of the concept called hoisting. I'm not sure what it's about, so I'm just here to ask you. Of course, I can break it down for you. It's actually a concept that's misunderstood by a lot of developers, but once you learn it, it's pretty simple. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hoisting in the dictionary is defined as to raise something. And that's unfortunately a mistake that a lot of JavaScript developers make. When they think of JavaScript hoisting, they think that functions and variables are moved physically to the top of the code. That is not the case. Let me demonstrate. So we will have over here just two files index and js underscore hoisting index page is just linking our javascript script so it's empty right now let's open up a browser to see the output of the script we need to inspect and go to the console all right we'll just print something out testing one two three when we refresh, we see testing one, two, three. So in most languages, you cannot just print out a variable that does not exist. Let's do, let's name it test name. When we print it out, what do we get? Uncaught reference error, test name is not defined, which is seems pretty normal. However, this is where JavaScript is pretty tricky, I guess. We define this variable name below the console. You would think you would get the same type of error since the console log happens before we actually define this variable, right? So we refresh. However, this time it's undefined. So it seems like it moved it to the top, right? Incorrect. Basically what happens is JavaScript has two phases it goes through. One is the creation phase and one is the execution phase. During the creation phase, JavaScript allocates the memory for variables and functions. All the functions get entirely copied, function name, the code inside, and the variables just get placed in memory. While during the execution phase, all the code gets executed line by line and the variables get the assignment. So what does that mean? That means test name here is the same thing as test name here, right? However, this is going to be different, right? Because this happens during the creation phase. This assignment happens during the execution phase. So this is still going to be undefined. You see? However, you move it up top. It will print out Arnold. Now let's do the same thing with the function. Let's create a function. Get to the chapa now. <laughs> let's print out. All right. So most of the time in most languages, you would declare it to the top at the function at the top, and then you would use it over here, right? So it should print out now. However, in JavaScript, I just told you about the creation and execution phase. So you know that even if you use the function and call it over here, you know that during the creation phase, this will be placed in memory. So JavaScript will understand to execute this. And as you can see, it's still printing it out. So basically the two main ideas to remember, there's a creation phase, where the functions, all of the function inside, including the name, gets placed into memory, so you can use it anywhere. And the variable declaration gets placed into the memory. This happens during the creation phase. But the variable assignment happens during the execution phase. 
all right so what, that's what you need to remember and the bonus exercise i want you to tell me what will happen if you define get to the chapa now function like this get to the chapa what will happen if we call it before we define it this way before you answer that subscribe to the channel bonus tip do not rely on hosting always have your variable definitions and function definitions at the top so in this case that's fine we could do that or even better And all your function definitions should go to the top. Get to the top now. And this will save you a lot of trouble in JavaScript and other languages. Remember, declare everything at the top. Uh huh. It makes so much more sense right now. Thanks, Alex. No problem. I hope you viewers got the concept as well. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.